I'm Jessica Dean with your digital news brief. A building being demolished comes crashing down in Cherry Hill. One person is dead, another injured. This happened on the 500 block of Route 38. Workers were tearing down a vacant building that used to house a blockbuster video store. Officials say the demolition was almost complete when a chunk of wall and roof fell on top of a worker who died at the scene. Another worker at the site was also taken to the hospital for evaluation after complaining of chest pains. A shooting in Logan sends two people to the hospital. Chopper 3 over 10th and Ruscombe Streets, where a 14-year-old boy and a 27-year-old man were each shot in the leg. Both are in stable condition and so far no arrests. Two people are killed and four injured when they were all thrown from a pickup truck that overturned on the Atlantic City Expressway. This accident happened this morning near exit 22 in Hamilton Township, New Jersey. Investigators say three people were sitting in the cab and three were in the bed of that truck when it lost control and flipped over. A 35 year old man and a four year old boy were killed. Actor Tracy Morgan is out of the hospital and has been transferred to an undisclosed physical rehabilitation center. His publicist says Morgan is expected to remain there for the next few weeks. He was critically injured in a multi-vehicle crash on the New Jersey Turnpike earlier this month. His friend James McNair was killed in that wreck. Two others were hurt. Police are looking for a hit and run driver who struck and killed a man who was walking along a road in Ben Salem, Bucks County. This happened last night in the 4100 block of Bristol Pike. The victim has been identified as Vincent Peary of Philadelphia. Detectives hope nearby businesses may have surveillance cameras that captured that crash. Philadelphia City Council wants to change the way minor marijuana related offenses are handled. Under a new measure passed Thursday, people caught with an ounce or less of pot would not be sent to jail. Instead, they would get a $25 citation. Now, the mayor has not said if he will sign the bill, but if he vetoes it, sources tell CBS3 that veto will likely be overturned by City Council. Let us know what you think. You can connect with us at Facebook.com slash CBS Philly or on Twitter at CBS Philly. That's the latest for the Digital Brief. I'm Jessica Dean.